Is that red light mask that you're using to make your skin look amazing, is that actually bad for your eyes? Well, if you wanna find out the answer to that, keep watching. everyone, I am Dr. Rupa Wong, board certified ophthalmologist. And on this channel, we talk about eye health, eye surgery, eye makeup health, and sometimes a little bit about my life here in Hawaii. So if any of that interests you, please make sure to hit the like, subscribe, follow along button so you can get these videos as soon as I make them. So are red light masks safe for your eyes? Can you actually overdo the amount of red light? Is more better or is more actually dangerous for your vision? So where did all these LED lights, where did this start from? Actually, it's NASA technology and they found that these LED lights actually helped with promoting healing and stopping inflammation. So these basically found their way to dermatology clinics and eventually to these at-home masks that you see all over online and, and your stores. So the thought is that it's a combination of red light and even near infrared light and that it helps your cells turn over. Basically that means that they're rejuvenating, they're turning over so that your cells can function optimally and produce that really nice healthy glow. So red light therapy is supposedly FDA approved to help with the appearance of your skin, whether it be with scar tissue or just with the evenness and texture of your skin. So a lot of estheticians and dermatologists will say that the red light that's being used in red light masks they're really essential for your skin cells because they are replenishing something that gets lost as we age, which is what promotes wrinkles, which of course, some of us, at least if you're watching this, you probably don't want. So these dermatologists and estheticians say that regularly using red light will help optimize the circulation of your skin and just improve the skin texture, as well as improving inflammation from things like psoriasis or eczema and give you that healthy sheen. Red light is also thought to trigger the fibroblasts, which make the collagen and elastin and all of that go together to improve the texture and appearance of your skin because that's what we start to lose as we age. I'm 47. I definitely notice a loss of collagen, especially compared to when I was in my 30s. When I was in my 30s, I looked like I was in my 20s. So at least I've got the nice melanin, so it helps me age a little bit better. But lack of collagen and elastin can be a real problem, especially if you are trying to get that healthy sheet. So let's specifically talk about the eyes. So here's a quick picture if you needed to review of what the color spectrum looks like. That's where the red and the infrared fall compared to, let's say, UV light or the rest of the wavelengths that are available in natural light. So is this damaging for your eyes? Well, there are some particular concerns, especially if you are prone prone to seizures or migraine. You would definitely want to be extremely wary of using a red light mask. You need to always wear eye protection to prevent any kind of migraine trigger. If you have seizure disorder, 100% you must talk to your primary care physician or your neurologist to ensure that you can use this. Do not just buy it and start using it because you think that it's safe to use. You don't want it to trigger a seizure. It would be really rare, but certainly possible. And then there are a lot of medications which are called photosensitizing. So they make it much more likely for you to get a sunburn. So you wouldn't want to be using a red light mask if you're on any of these medicines. These medicines include lithium as well as antipsychotics and specific antibiotics like doxycycline and minocycline. So always, always check with your doctor before resorting to using this kind of mask because you just don't know. Just because it's available at your local beauty store or online doesn't mean it is 100% safe for everybody. So most of these red light masks work about for three minutes, that's the recommended uh, dose every day for at least two weeks to see any benefit. There was a really interesting study in the Journal of Gerontology and it showed that if older adults were exposed to a deep red light for three minutes for two weeks, it actually improved their contrast, their vision. What is contrast visions? indicate? Well, basically it means when you have a letter and it's on a similar color background, that's considered low contrast. There's not a lot of difference in the contrast between what you're trying to see and the background. And when older adults got this red light therapy, they had an improvement in their ability to view lower contrast 
objects or letters, which is really quite remarkable because we start to lose that ability as we age. That's because the cone cells are the photoreceptors that are responsible in your retina for contrast sensitivity. And as we get older, they just don't function as well. So it's a really interesting possibility that red light might actually be beneficial for vision, especially in the 670 nanometer range, to improve and kind of give a little oomph to these retinal cells that weren't functioning so well. They think that this works because red light might kind of charge like a battery, charge the mitochondria of the cells, allowing them to function better. And that the deep red light might restore the energy production levels to what happens when you are young. So that's a really interesting study. Of course, this is a very initial study, so we can't draw a ton of conclusions from it. We don't know if these findings are going to hold up in a really large human clinical trial, or if this was just a placebo effect, but it's still interesting anyway. But it's not the first study actually that's shown that red light might be protective for the retina. There are some studies done in rats that showed a red light protective benefit for retinal rat cells as well. But of course, before red light can be considered as any kind of treatment, we have to have larger trials. We need to figure out if it's a placebo effect, figure out what wavelength is needed, what duration, how long we should be treating. But Getting back to the red light masks, given some of these studies, red light therapy should be safe if you discuss it with your primary care physician first to make sure you're not on any medications or don't have any medical problems that would contraindicate, would make it so that you should not use the red light mask. You definitely wanna to talk to them, not just your dermatologist, but everyone involved in your care. And then always wear the blackout goggles or the opaque goggles when you are using the red light masks. I've seen some of them that don't really cover the mask or don't have the cutouts for the eyes. So just go ahead and put on the opaque goggles or buy them separately because even if they have the cutout, you can still be getting red light exposure to the rest of your eyes. And you just wanna be safe because we don't know the side effects yet. And always use an FDA approved device. There's a lot of devices out there. Make sure it's an FDA approved device that's going to put you in a little bit of a safer space than um, if you were to just use something that you found online, you don't know where it comes from. So there you go. Some interesting data that red light might actually be beneficial for your eyes, but I would still wear the opaque goggles, use an FDA approved device and always discuss it with your doctor. That's it for today, guys. I hope this video was helpful. If you've got any other interesting video topics you'd like for me to address, make sure to put them in the comments below. I read every comment. I'm creating a list. And if I see a, a topic come up more than a couple times, I will make sure to create a video on that. Until next time, bye for now.